One fake hemp to rule them all! <laughs> In my quest to achieve the best possible guitar sound, I kept hearing all this buzz about a supposedly game-changing amp simulator, the Kemper Profiler Player. Is it everything they say, though? The Profiler Player is basically a bunch of famous guitar amps in one box. Egad! Look at this amp list! Plus it has sound effects like echo, reverb, and phaser. Everything you really pretty much need is in this box, and it can be expanded with an additional foot switch. Jiminy Christmas. My dreams have come true. Since I recently started a YouTube band with this crazy good drummer, Matt, I need to step up my game. So I want my guitar to sound better than ever. And since Kemper is the latest innovation in guitar technology, I'm curious to know, is it gonna live up to the hype? I mean, let's face it, it's really hard to stand out as a musician these days, and we need every edge we can get. So if this thing can make me sound better, I'm in. Before I got this thing, I had been using a cheap Ampera One pedal, a similar effects pedal with a bunch of amps in it that I got used for 140 bucks. So later we're gonna compare that and Amplitude software to the Kemper to see if it really is a step up of the competition. The Profiler player is fairly affordable at 698 bucks, but I'm a poor musician who needs to buy diapers soon, so I had to sell some gear that I really didn't want to get rid of. I will never say goodbye. Never. And some effects boxes and a really killer delay pedal. This thing better be worth the hype. You'd better do what you say you can do or you'll be banished to eBay. <laughs> it was pretty hard to get my hands on one too because it was sold out everywhere. There's nothing, nothing at all. I called Sweetwater and they told me that their wait list was hundreds of people long. Where are you, Kemper? Why can't I find you? So I watched the internet like a hawk until I saw a dealer on Reverb.com list one. Bingo! Now the idea of a bunch of amps in a box isn't new, but this little box features new technology they call liquid amp profiling. No, it doesn't convert sound waves into craft beer. That would be amazing. But what it means is, whatever famous guitar amp you choose on this pedal, when you adjust the knobs here, it should sound like you're adjusting and playing on the real amp. Theoretically. Before my band records again, I need to find out if I want to use this thing or not. So we're going to test it out. I recorded a demo song with 18 different amp tones from this pedal. So let's give it a listen. Time to see if Kemper cuts the mustard, Binky. Thank you. 
Was it everything I hoped and dreamed? Is it worth the hype? The tones in this thing are already ready to go. Now, other amp pedals I've tried, they took a lot more tweaking, but all of these presets were amazing for the most part. For the Kemper, one selling point for me was that on my Ampero 1, if I were playing a guitar solo and then I switched back to my regular rhythm guitar setting, the last note, that echo or delay or reverb or whatever effect I was using, would get cut off and it'd sound really stupid. So my solos would just abruptly end, which kind of took the audience out of the music. But with the Kemper, this thing offered a possible solution. On their website, they said if you're using an echo or a reverb and then you change to another setting, well, the profiler player would let the last note of your guitar solo decay naturally, even if you switch to another setting. That alone made me want to check it out. Another upside is this little box could save me a lot of time. A lot of us struggling musicians are trying to balance family and work life. My wife and I do have a baby on the way, so I'm looking for time-saving strategies. Whenever Matt and I try to make a video, I gotta hook up a microphone to my amp and it'll take me 30 or 60 minutes to get it in just the right spot to get the best tone. What if I could just plug straight into one of these things? We could do live streams like instantly. We could do videos whenever we want. It, it would really save a lot of time. What about the downsides? Well, as you can see, there's no screen on this thing. So if you wanna edit the tones, you have to connect to an iPad, a phone, a tablet, or some other device like a computer. My Dell desktop did not wanna to connect to this thing via USB for some reason. You can still connect via Wi-Fi, a router, or Bluetooth. So then I tried my phone. I've got a Google Pixel 6, and for some reason it didn't want to connect over Wi-Fi. But my iPad had no problems connecting. On my phone, I could still use Bluetooth, but that was a little bit concerning. I was worried that, like, what happens if my next phone doesn't connect to this thing? Or what happens if my next computer doesn't connect to this thing? How am I going to edit my sounds? So that is one thing that kind of bothers me. To future-proof something, I would rather it not be dependent on a phone or an iPad to work. I'm a nostalgic person. I need all my gear to still be good when I'm like 90 years old. To counter that, I've seen nothing but positive reviews for Kemper's customer service. The digital knobs are kind of a pain. You do have a few knobs here, but if you want to adjust something with a digital knob during a live show, sometimes you'll grab it and the knob will turn the other way, the way you don't want it to turn. And that could create some problems, but your main knobs are all here, like your gain in your master volume, your bass, middle, and treble. And there's also some effects here. It's also gonna drain your phone or iPad battery really fast. The tones are awfully good, but is it that much better than my old $140 Ampera One pedal? Let's find out. Still sounds murdery. I don't like it. I liked my Ampero pretty well for the price until I heard the Kemper. And now I thought, oh man, those are definitely higher quality. I don't think I can go back now. The Kemper definitely has higher quality tones and more consistency from amp to amp. Although there are a few that stand out on the Ampero. I did another test too. One of Kemper's competitors is IK Multimedia with their software and pedals Amplitube and Tonex. Originally, I recorded this demo song with Amplitube Max, its recording software that simulates amplifiers, and the tones were surprisingly able to compete with the Kemper Profiler player. Here's a quick sample of the original recording with Amplitube software. If you're in the market for something like this and you're on a tight budget, 
you might check out the Tonex pedal because it's a lot cheaper right now. Just know that it doesn't come with any effects tones other than reverb. It only comes with amp tones. If you just need it on your computer for recording purposes, you can get Amplitude software that comes with effects and amps. For overall consistency, I think Kemper's tones are the most consistent. Amplitude has more amps, but the Kemper really stands out. So, after playing this thing, am I gonna miss the gear I sold for the Kemper? Nah. If you wanna buy a Profiler Player, Tonex Pedal, or Amplitude 5 software, check out the links in the video description. If you wanna hear the best tones on the Ampero 1 pedal, check out this video next.